So you can palpate the superior angle, but definitely want to be palpating the inferior angle. And I'm going to be pushing up and following that scaffold along. And what we're looking for is upward rotation. And as I explained on the skelly there, after a certain amount of abduction, we need that upward rotation because if that's not occurring, then it's asking too much of this joint without this joint doing its job. So let's see how that looks. Can you please up with you, abduct up the shoulders for me? Bring them up out to the sides of the ceiling. And back. And then do that again because I lost that left scapula. But what I noticed there was this side here was not moving as much. It's not upwardly rotating, so we'll unpack that in a moment. Go one more time. So I'm pushing into that medial border. Yeah, left side's going, so right side a bit sticky. Okay, come back. Good. This right scapula, that could be added into your, what we had up there earlier on for your notes. Think back to what I said earlier on about flexion extension. Flexion is restricted, which group of muscles might be tight? Extensors. Yeah, so upward rotation is restricted, which group of muscles might be tight? Downward rotators, yeah. So a bit of a jump to get to that, but then we need to know what are the downward rotators. Through experience and through thinking about it, I can tell you what they are. And two of them are levator scapula and pec minor. And these are two very, very commonly unhappy muscles when it comes to shoulder dysfunction. So if you're seeing that, they might make it onto my, uh, my list of treatment of areas that I'm aiming to address.